mailbag 52-ish. Uh, looks like a lot, but there's actually not much here. But let's dig into it. I'm going to start with the oldest package here. Let's get this out of the way a bit. This one fell between the cracks, and obviously it needed to be a very large crack to fall between. There. And this was from BC Robotics. It's a small company based out in the Nanaimo area. Oops. And I ordered this stuff. Let me look on the date on this. February 10th, 2024. It's February 10th, 2025. Uh, for some reason, I thought the box had been opened and it was just sitting there. So, I've got one item. Two items. Oh, there was a third item there. Let's get this out of the way. First one is this. This is a solenoid valve. You're going, so what? Well, if you want to make a gravity flow um, watering system, you're going to need one of these. Now, I'll pull up just a second here. My cheat sheet. So, what's so special? A lot of the um, solenoid valves actually require you, and I'll have it in the corner there, um, a tiny bit of pressure in the water line, about 3 PSI for a lot of them. And what that means is your system needs to be pressurized. A normal gravity-fed, uh, like say a water tank uh, sitting a few feet above the ground, or above where you want to water actually, is not going to provide the pressure that you need. So, ones that require pressure may or may not work. This one requires no pressure. Essentially, you hook it up, and it's, uh, I believe it's a normally closed one. Yeah, it is a normally closed one with a three-quarter inch thread. So you apply 12 volts, it opens up. It loses the 12 volts, then it drops and uh, closes again. Whereas the other ones that require the pressure may not close completely. In which case, everything leaks out of your system. So, oh, and I paid, um, it's in the corner there, uh, I believe around $10. So the next item. Silicone wire. Now, uh, 16 gauge. Uh, I couldn't find the spec sheet for the 16 gauge, so I'll put in the corner the 14 gauge spec. Yeah, that's the sheet that I have. I just want to make some, uh, some of my own test leads with this stuff. It is so nice and slippery. And flexible. I paid. Um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, I'll stick the price in the corner. And now I'm planning on playing a tiny bit more with robot robots. Come on. We have a time with these today. So these are 1 to 220 uh, for the torque. Let me just grab the sheet. Here we go. And I'll put it up in the corner there. Uh, so let's see. Three to six volts. This, of course, will be spinning at a fairly high speed. You've got the reduction gear in here. And it brings it way down. So approximately 26 RPM at three volts. 56 RPM at 6 volts. And I got a pile of them. Now, remember, I ordered this a year ago. And you'd think, uh, can't be that important. Actually, I did need this. I couldn't find it. My spreadsheet said I had it. But 
Well, whatever. So let's see what else to say about this thing. Um, and okay, those speeds were at no load. So obviously as you apply some load to this, uh, it's going to slow down. And it weighs apparently 30 grams. On to the next. Let's grab this one. Now, I have been complaining that I keep breaking the stand for this thing because it's made out of plastic. One of the people watching my video said, well, why don't you go buy a metal one? And I'm like, uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Now, this thing wasn't cheap. Um, here's a sheet on it. And I'll stick that in the corner there for a moment. Uh, it's got the standard mount for a tripod. Uh, that's more than I normally spend on something like this. $39.95. But it's made out of aluminium or however you want to pronounce it. Let's see what it looks like. Now, I'm not going to be able to actually demo it too easily. Because... Uh, It'll be behind the camera. Ah. Ooh, nicely packaged. Very nicely packaged. Now it comes. Let's see if that's in focus. I'll turn that. Okay. <coughs> okay, that one rotates that way. Oh, that's got a good grip. Let's just see. Will it grip my phone? Yes. It does grip the phone. And it's made out of metal. Let's make sure it's made out of metal. Yep, it's made out of metal. So... I can use this now in the future. Uh, I might wait till the other one breaks. But I do actually have to get a couple setups for these because uh, I'm going to be doing some crystal growing and I'll want that part uh, set up stationary. So there's tightening it up. Okay, that tightens it up. And let's see. Oh, okay. That locks this yep so there it goes and what does this say insert insert oh okay uh, that's probably for a camera mount but hey okay. I'm getting fancier next Okay, this package weighs almost nothing. There should be something in it. I'm going to guess that the parts came from on this Amazon order from two different locations. There we go. And what they are is lithium ion battery chargers. Now, you've probably gone, would go, but you have some already. But the ones I have don't have the protection on them. And if I'm going to be sticking batteries in things, I want the protection. I might have to zoom down on this. I'll put a picture in the corner there. But uh, there's two protection chips there. I'm just going to zoom down. So here's zoomed in. Uh, this here is a 4056 uh, chip. This one here is an 8205LA. And there's a DW01. Uh, uh, some of the notes on this. Okay, this will be set up for one amp. So I'm betting that's a 1200, 1200 uh, ohm uh, resistor there. 
Yes, one, two, two, 1200 ohms. So it's set for one amp. I might have to modify uh, that resistor depending on what power pack I hook it up to. What do they say about it? And I'll stick it up in the other corner there. I paid $8.79 for it. Uh, one amp lithium ion charging with protection. All the other ones I have don't have protection. Uh, let's see. It's got a micro USB female on this end here. Uh, it requires 5 volts input. And I saw somewhere in here, and I'll be putting these up in the corner there. Note 3. Uh, if it doesn't start uh, charging, uh, if I just hook up the battery to the far side here first, uh, you may actually have to apply 5 volts here to initialize the circuit. So it's nice that they put a warning in there. And let's see, the rest is pretty well the same as uh, preset to 4.2 volts. I did another video where I was using one of these just to temporarily put a bit of a charge on a lithium-ion battery out of a camera. They work quite nicely. But as I said, if I'm going to use these in projects, I need the protection. So I'm going to zoom out now. So let's open up the last one now. Another one from Amazon. Along the same lines as what we just looked at. And they really didn't spare on packing on this one, uh, which isn't too good. Okay. Lithium ion 1450. I guess I can zoom down now. I've been trying to find rechargeable uh, lithium ions, looking around uh, bus stops, etc., where people may dispose of them. And I've had zero luck. So either are people around here that uh, do that one thing with them, uh, are very neat and tiny, or where they buy them from, they go, why don't you return your old one to us? So this is a 2,500 milliamp uh, lithium ion and underneath it, oh, uh, what did I pay for these? Um, I think it was 24 or $25. I'll stick it in the corner. I also bought a regular charger for them. So let's see what's inside here. They really didn't need to put it in a bag. There we go. But it's kind of cute. And since I paid about $25 for this thing, yeah, I guess I can stick it in a bag. So let me just open this up. So there it is. And there's the battery. So you slap them in, charge them up. Uh, as I said, I just haven't been able to find the other ones. And, oh. Am I missing something? Oh, I see. Oh, okay. You need to plug this end into a regular wall wart one. And then this end goes in here. Obviously, uh, they want 2.1 amps here. Uh, I'll have to find one of my better uh, ones for plugging in, but it's essentially a battery charger. Now, this battery charger apparently can do 1865s, 1865 zeros, which means it's going to be all the way down there. 21700s, 18350s, 17670s, 17500 form. 16340 form and yes the 14500 uh, uh, form oops and also nickel uh, metal hydrate and nickel uh, cadmium which are going to be a bit harder to find nowadays 
Uh, even some of the toys I've been getting in uh, have the nickel, nickel metal hydrates. Uh, the AAs and the AAAs. So, one battery charger to replace a lot. Uh, I'll probably just show this in more detail in another video. But that's it for this mailbag. And you might be wondering why I'm buying these batteries from Amazon. You might be going, hey, AliExpress is cheaper. But in Canada, uh, you can't actually ship a package of batteries like this through the mail. It's actually a no-no. If these were actually installed in something, that's fine. But the regulations state that you cannot ship uh, lithium-ion batteries like this, just as like that, in the mail. So it's got to be by courier. Or, in my case, Amazon. Uh, I found a USB uh, wall wart that uh, outputs enough uh, ampage. So I've plugged it in. It's got a pretty little screen there. And you can charge all four up. This will probably take a while since uh, they were probably not fully charged when they shipped them. Which uh, really didn't make me too thrilled to see how loose they were in the package. Uh, considering we all know about lithium ions. Hey. Yeah. Guess that's the way it goes. Well, that's it for this video. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye.